are many new and exciting capabilities in ArcGIS Online. Here we have a map that shows thousands of power plants around the world. It's difficult to see any immediate patterns because the points are stacked on top of each other. But watch what happens when I enable clustering. With clustering, the patterns in our data really start to shine. For example, in the United States, we see a cluster of hydropower plants in blue and solar plants in yellow. When we zoom into Asia, the points expand. In addition to the blue hydro plants, we see coal in red and wind in green. With clustering, we get an automatically generated pop-up that shows us the number of power plants and the most common type of fuel in each area. So that was clustering. Now let's take a look at some of the other new features. This is a map that shows the Human Footprint Index. This online hosted feature layer has tens of thousands of features and draws seamlessly with faster than ever performance. This isn't just vector tiles. These are feature tiles with geometry and attributes that we can re-symbolize and query and analyze. This is all powered by the new dynamic feature tiles running behind the scenes in your browser. Another feature running behind the scenes that you might not have noticed are the automatic outlines that appear when you're zoomed in and disappear when you zoom out. This default setting in smart mapping ensures that your patterns are seen. So let's go into smart mapping and choose an attribute, the number of threatened species. Smart mapping provides numerous multivariate drawing styles. I'll select the color and size drawing style and change the theme to above and below. I'll pick a color ramp that shows the developed areas in purple and the undeveloped areas in green. I can use the slider to illuminate urban city centers like Beijing, the outskirts and the suburbs, and the general divide between developed and undeveloped areas. The larger symbols represent areas where many of the species are threatened. So that's just one of many drawing styles to choose from with smart mapping. So there's a new drawing style that we just released, and it's one of my favorite additions to ArcGIS Online. It's called the Relationship Drawing Style. Traditionally known as the Bivariate Choropleth Map, this style evaluates two attributes, helping you explore where they may or may not relate. I'll change the ramp and rotate it. Here we're comparing the level of development to the number of threatened species and showing where both values are high in orange and both are low in blue. So the areas of concern are in orange, where there's lots of human development and many threatened species. I can modify the individual colors in the ramp and edit the legend to make the map easy to understand. This style also works with your point and your line data sets. Smart mapping isn't just for your 2D maps. It's also available in 3D. These are buildings in New York City. I'll select the Energy Star Score attribute, which is a grade that every building receives that represents how energy efficient it is. And now let's add Edges, a new capability in ArcGIS Online, to better define the building's score. Here we have a nice solid outline around each of the buildings. But if we want, we can give it a more hand-drawn look. We can change the color and the size of the outline. If you want to share your beautiful and informative 2D and 3D maps, you can do so with an app like this one that helps New Yorkers quickly and easily find their building's energy score. ArcGIS Online has many new capabilities, clustering, 3D edges, the relationship drawing style, these features bring new life into your maps and the stories you tell. Thank you.